What does separation of concerns really mean to a developer? Well, let's take the example of a virtual egg. We have to identify it. This is an egg. Defining what things are is semantic information that goes in the HTML files. Next, we could choose how the egg looks. It can have a color, size, and motion, and more. Style choices go in CSS files. Finally, we say what the egg can do. An egg can hatch. Behaviors are coded in JavaScript files. Why is separation of concerns important? It makes it easier to find and change specific pieces of code. Let's look at the formatting bar in Microsoft Word. One way you can make a heading large and bold is by choosing a font size and pressing the B button. But if you ever wanted to change how things are designed, you would have to reformat every single one. If you selected styles for your headings instead, you could simply edit the styles. In the early days of the web, changes were hard. If eggs were defined as white in the HTML, changing them all to brown would take a lot of work. In a CSS style sheet, one simple edit would change them all.